Okay, so this is a new setting tool system that I came up with and I did it with the beginner in mind. Now several people have said to me, how come you didn't make it so that it fits on the GRS system? And really, it's not that I can't make one in the future, but to start out with, uh, my goal is is the beginner and most beginners they're not set up with with all the GRS parts so you can I made the piece so that it, it, it comes with these screws and you can screw it right down to pretty much any bench and if you don't want to do that you can clamp it you know with a regular C clamp or a clamp like this so it has a lot of options, but, you know, say you're someone that does have the GRS, I did make it so that you can remove, it, it has to hook on the back here to be secure, but it can come off of there. It's just that the only way I've figured it out so far is to have this, I came up with this post type thing here, screws down into the bench. You'd have to have something like that on there so you don't cut yourself or bump into it. But then it allows this to fit over that and then you can tighten it down with a wing nut. And it's just with, with that one and then fitting down here, it's very secure. So uh, another thing I wanted to do was come up with a way so that people could learn to do channel setting, uh, mainly something like this, where it's uh, you know pendants, earrings. Uh, I haven't gotten into the ring part yet, but if you're just learning, to me this is the way to start out with. And as I get going, I'm sure I'll come up with uh, something for rings. But you can buy it like this. Comes with the screws. And so it could be mounted on a bench like that. So here we'll do it with that. And then you would have, you'd be able to take a hammer and hammer that down. And then the other option would be, I made it so that it, it's it got the holes here and it comes with the little bolts and you can put it there and it gets it a little closer to you. Uh, so that was another idea I had. So then, beyond that, we have this part. And so, initially I was thinking of using steel, but I didn't like the weight of it. And so I went with aluminum with a steel top, and I even, I researched this a lot, and by having a, a flat top on here, but having it raised a little bit, it allows for stuff like thermal grip or jet set, shellac, to actually adhere around that when it's heated up. And it also goes down into the holes. And you end up with something like this that's very secure. But yet you can heat it up and you can take it off. So... I had to think about that quite a bit, and I will show you how to do this. I've already got that all figured out. So we'll set that aside. So, you know, what really got me into this was that Kevin Potter has a lot of dies, and they're, oh, the dog just bumped that. So anyways, he has a lot of dies, and like this piece, and he can he can do the stampings, and then I can show you how to do the setting. So something like this fits right down in there. And for the beginner, and I felt this was very important, you know, a lot of beginners, when they're using their two hands, I'm standing trying to do this, but I wanted something that covered this hand because this hand becomes exposed and if you know say you're if when we get into gravers 
You know, a lot of people just starting, they slip. And there's nothing like jamming a graver into your hand. So I wanted something that would cover that, uh, be safer for you. Uh, even using, say, you know, a beading tool and pushing over the beads, it's still possible that you could slip and go right into your hand. So I had that in mind as I designed this. Now, the other thing that's great here, and uh, I will sit down here, is that I made this with, with this angle on purpose because it is a perfect angle for using a graver. Uh, and it's also a great angle for using a beading tool. So, granted it doesn't, like the GRS, which, which I love, I have one, it doesn't move around like that, but for the beginner, this is going to be just perfect. Uh, and you don't need it to move around. Now, However, this I made it so that this hole is the right size, and so GRS makes this tool, which this thing is great, and it will fit down in there, and you can use it, uh, and so it will work with rings, and I'll tell you this, I couldn't make this tool in a million years for what they do it for, and I think I've seen this for 89, 92 bucks, 95 bucks. Comes with all these little sleeves to fit in different size rings. I mean, that's a great price. And so, no sense in ever trying to compete with that. Uh, another thing is, you know, you may have this tool. This opens up, that comes off. And so, person could use this and they could put rings in here. For me this is a little bit too high um, but it you know some people could use it so anyway so that I think that's pretty much it for this tool. Uh, nothing fancy but it will it will work well and I'm going to show you how to do it. One other thing here I came up with this and and what I like about this is that if I'm going to be sorting or laying out stones I want to have a place to do it and most most people on a bench they got stuff all over the place and this allows me to to do it right next to where I'm going to be setting and I, I felt that was important so uh, this you know it's solid steel inexpensive it's got these little rubber feet on here uh, I got a bunch of them and so that works great uh, and I I think that's it so the next thing we'll do is um, I'll start getting into showing you how to how to work with the thermal lock I ordered five pounds of this stuff and I just want to make it as easy as possible for you so We'll get into that next. All right, I think that's it. Thank you.